All right, guys, Boruto chapter 72 preview. This chapter right here is definitely going to be one of the best chapters in a very long time, just because of the sheer fact that there's going to be a lot of actual coming together in this chapter. First things first, it's going to be Ida, Damon, and Amato coming back to the Hidden Leaf Village to essentially meet Naruto. Of course, Amato doesn't really have to meet Naruto. He already met Naruto. But now the others are actually going to be coming back to the Hidden Leaf Village, and a couple of interesting things are going to happen. There's going to be a question if Naruto is actually going to accept the characters not even only naruto it's a question of other people in the hidden leaf fields are going to be able to accept the other characters one of the things that we have actually seen recently is the fact that people aren't necessarily the most warmed up to kawaki as of yet and for naruto to essentially bring in two more cyborgs from omato that's probably going to be a hard pill to swallow and then, to be honest naruto might even actually keep this under wraps now before a couple of chapters ago i would have probably said that shikamaru would have 1000 percent been against this move by naruto potentially bringing in some brand new cyborgs but a couple of chapters ago, Shikamaru literally gave Ida the option to actually join the Hidden Leaf Village and get closest to Kawaki. Now, we don't fully know if Shikamaru was just talking BS. We don't necessarily know if he was playing her or anything like that. But one of the things that we do understand right now is that there's the possibility that Shikamaru is going to be open to it. Now, Naruto, in my personal opinion, I think that he's probably going to be all for it. It's just a matter of if everybody else is going to be all for it. So if hypothetically Naruto and Shikamaru are going to be all for it, I see no reason why they would essentially be turned away and i personally believe that this ride is going to be absolutely amazing for the hidden leaf fields we talked about this in multiple other videos let's keep it a thousand now naruto has not only kawaki and boruto but he also has ida delta and damon plus amato like the hidden leaf fields right now is it's not even debatable like it hasn't been debatable in a very long time but the hidden leaf village is strongest village in the entire series period point and blank and i think this right here is probably just going to make it even more drama filled especially at the next five kage summit because if you're the other villages and i said this already as well you're going to essentially be saying like, yo, why is the Hidden Leaf Village getting so strong and, and my village is staying completely stagnant? They literally can't do anything against the Hidden Leaf Village if things really do come to blows and all five nations start to war against each other. The Hidden Leaf Village is going to obviously be on top. Now, one of the things that I definitely do have to point out about this essential meeting, Amato said that he's going to tell the Hokage something in the next chapter. I don't fully know exactly what he wants to tell Naruto, but whatever it is, it's probably going to be extremely interesting. One of the things that we do understand is that Amato did actually say that he has an off button into Kawaki, not necessarily a literal off button, but he says if he says the command, then Kawaki will then shut down. Naruto doesn't know this. He recently told Ida. I definitely do want to know if he's going to actually tell Naruto this in the next chapter. Another thing that was kind of interesting about the last chapter is the fact that Amato said that he essentially put the quote unquote off button into Kawaki in case the Hidden Leaf Village wanted to get rid of him. And he said in a situation like right now. I don't necessarily think that the Hidden Leaf Village are trying to actively get rid of Amato right now. But it's going to be interesting to see exactly what Amato meant by that right there. Now, not only that, of course, we do have to bring up Kawaki and Ida potentially meeting in the next chapter. Do I think it's probably going to happen? I'm going to say no, just because of the sheer fact that this right here is probably going to be one of the most hyped meetings. And I'm pretty sure this right here could possibly deserve a chapter on its own. I personally believe that's probably going to be a little bit too much for just the next chapter. I'd probably include it if it was Kodachi, the last ride of the Boruto manga. He'd probably include it. Masashi Kishimoto, I'm probably going to say that he's probably not going to include it as of yet. But that meeting is going to be absolutely insane. Now, not only that, one of the other big things that we definitely do have to look forward to it's going to be cold, flat out point blank. One of the things that Cold actually said is that he wants to actually go out, build a god tree, and of course absorb the chocolate fruit or eat the chocolate fruit. We understand that it's probably going to be very difficult for him to do that in this dimension on this planet. Which kind of leads me to believe that he might actually go to different dimensions and try to plant different god trees on different planets and in different dimensions. If that is the case then we have to be worried. If it's not the case and he tries to pull up to the Hidden Leaf Village in the next chapter I wouldn't be worried at all, <laughs> at all. One of the things that we do understand is that Cold could possibly get to the Hidden Leaf Village before Amato, Damon, and Ida get to the Hidden Leaf Village. And if that's the case, I still wouldn't be worried just because of the sheer fact that I don't necessarily think that Cold would probably be able to beat Kwaki, Boruto, Naruto, and Sasuke. If he can, all props to him, but I strongly doubt that's going to be the case. And of course, once Ida, Damon, and Amato get there, it's probably going to be even less likely that he's able to actually plant a god tree on the planet and of course get to Hidden Leaf Village and potentially even kidnap Kawaki or Boruto, which is going to be clipped from right then and there. Now, here's the thing. He has Bug with him. There's a bunch of things that could possibly go down with that. One of the things that we do understand is that an Otsuki member alongside a scientist or anybody alongside a scientist is probably going to be an extremely dangerous scenario. 
there's probably going to be some new things that we did not account for. Because Bug is a scientist, it gets me wondering if there's probably going to be other cyborgs that he potentially made or that Bohr potentially had that Cold could potentially team up with. And one of the things that we do understand, it was even talked about in the last chapter, how there were several other cyborgs that were actually stronger than Jigen. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't necessarily think that the cyborgs are still alive, they're still breathing. I think that Damon and Eater are probably going to be special situations, but one of the things that we do have to bring up, and I might even make a full video about this, is that it's possible that those other cyborgs that are actually stronger than Jigen are still alive, well, and kicking. Supposedly, Amato wanted them to be disposed of. Amato thinks that they were disposed of, and the reason why I think that it's possible that they're still alive is because Amato didn't dispose of them by himself. One of the things that we do understand is that he tasked Bora to actually dispose of Ida and Damon. Those two right there completely weren't disposed of. Now, obviously, he didn't completely ignore his orders, but let's be honest, they were just turned off. They weren't completely disposed of. And if that's the case, I mean, it could possibly open the door for other cyborgs to just be quote unquote turned off and not completely disposed of. And again, we don't fully know the other cyborgs yet, and I wouldn't be totally surprised if the other cyborgs could also possibly be stronger than a character like Damon or Eden, potentially bring some brand new abilities that we've never really seen before that are just completely broken. I think that'll probably be too much. I think it's probably going to be way too much cyborgs, but I still do have to bring up that it's definitely a possibility. The next thing that we definitely have to keep an eye on has to be the little guys, Boruto, Kawhi, and of course the rest of their teammates in the team seven the thing is a couple of chapters ago and even the last chapter it's always been like a weird kind of back and forth between Kawaki and Boruto at first before the last chapter we didn't fully know if Kawaki knew that Boruto had Momoshiki completely under control and also we found that Miski essentially said that whoever tried to kill Boruto that he himself was going to try to end their life something along the lines of that so that dialogue is going to kind of be interesting I definitely do want to see how that dynamic is actually going to play out in the next chapter and one of the last things that I definitely do have to talk about has to be a brand new arc. Now, I don't necessarily fully know exactly what's going on. I'm looking towards this next chapter to essentially lay out exactly what's going to happen. One of the things that we do understand is that the code arc, quote unquote, is essentially over. Code is done, even though he got his limiters removed. He, we understand that he's probably not necessarily gonna be able to beat anybody flat out. I'm looking for there to possibly be a start of a new arc. Not only that, a lot of people do actually theorize, me personally, I also theorize as well. A time skip should be coming very, very soon. I wanna see specifically what are the hints going to be are they going to be hinting to a brand new arc when it comes to a brand new arc let's be honest what we're looking for is people setting up battles people essentially pulling up on other people calling other people out essentially boxing in wwe if that is the case then we can be anticipating a brand new arc but now if they come out of nowhere and say hey boruto you need to get stronger i'm going to send you somewhere to train sasuke and then of course i mean you could possibly assume that hey a time skip is probably going to be coming soon i'm not necessarily expecting anything to be completely overt like that but let's keep it a thousand this is Naruto this is the home of the hints like we got to get at least one hint in the next chapter to give us a good and decent roadmap of specifically what's going to happen in the future of the series but what do you guys think about chapter 72 man it's going to be a very very good time this will should be coming out very very soon if not tomorrow sometime this week most likely I'm definitely going to keep you guys up to date as soon as the spoilers drop but it's being boy Barbie and we out it's a knife